Next up, we have got, I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for this like all night. We have, you've seen like uh, featured on our last uh, damn events takeover for Inside Land. She does henna, she does re actual real permanent she's an artist, she's got a podcast. But today, she is cooking. And I kid you not, if you guys follow her on Instagram, she is so legit. Today we've got some vegan cooking going on here. Um, take it away, Lex. Hey, y'all. I don't see So I got the camera. Y'all see what I look like in a minute. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. You're doing that all time. But time. yes, yes, yes. Um, matter of fact, no, y'all can look at me real quick. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do vegan mac and cheese. Um, and I do want to be clear, I am not like a chef. I am not, <laughs> like, I don't consider myself like a professional cook or anything, but I went vegan about, damn, it's actually six years. This April just passed. E. Um, I went vegan six years ago. Um, I decided to do it because of the planet and, you know, global warming and all that good shit. Um, but also it's been making me feel real good. Um, you know, I had knee surgery, um, my knee is always hurt, but um, as soon as I went vegan, I started having less pains and aches and just feeling good. So I asked what people wanted to see. They wanted to see mac and cheese, vegan style. This is how I do it. And it's really been tweaked over these six years. So this is kind of like my perfected recipe. And I think we're going to drop it in the, in the chat. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're gonna throw up the entire recipe in that chat for you guys to make on your own and we'll see how well this Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So first thing we need is some vegan butter. Now Real quick. I got measurements okay. that, that right. I that's kind of put out for y'all. But to be honest, I hardly measure shit. Like hey, I like to cook hey, because no. Real quick. Let's yeah, yeah. We can't see you on your camera. Oh, can you? You can't see me. Nope. Or can, or, you, see, can you see the food? Mm, Nothing. Mm, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like, yeah, because the spotlight isn't working on you either, real quick. So. Oh shit. Well, do you, it happens. Let me get you guys. Okay. Lex, <laughs> your voice is enough for me. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Hot mess. Okay, well, now we can spotlight you, but I don't see you yet. Oh, I see. Why is it like that? There's, okay. a there's a little video icon on the bottom left. If you click the carrot that points up, there's there should be an option that says, um, like, laptop camera or something. There it is. Hey, there we go. You can see? You see the butter. Yeah. There we go, girl. Like, I should have melted and it's time to add the next shit. <laughs> all right, y'all good? Y'all can see melted butter? Yep, we're good. We can see Beautiful. it all. Okay, so, all you, so I was saying before that it's really, really difficult for me to do recipes and, you know, people ask me over the years, but honestly, I do not measure shit. It's really all based on eye and based on taste. And that's why I like to cook versus bake. Because if you bake something and you don't do the measurements right, you just fuck the whole shit up. So cooking is cool. And I tell everybody just, you know, this is what I do. But, you know, you got to experiment. So what I'm doing right now is making the roux. And that's literally just melted butter with like pinches of flour. And you just kind of keep throwing in pinch by pinch on a low heat and you see it gets kind of thicker now after you do that P -H -I -C -C. Thick. you guys see how it can can you see how thick it's yeah. getting okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah uh uh-huh p-h-i-c-c -C. it's thick yes Film. but she thinks so <laughs> Okay, so that's good. That's that's decent. Um, you don't you don't want it to be like clumpy. You want it to be kind of kind of like toothpaste, damn near toothpaste consistency. And vegan butter, like literally, there's a thousand brands. Like 
when I went vegan six years ago, the shit was so fucking hard. It, it was like there was no, barely any options in the grocery stores, and now you can see options everywhere. All right, that's the oven, preheat. What's the timing? All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is add some milk. Now, I start with like a cup at a time and I mix a little bit and then I add a little bit more and kind of like that. So you really just need your eye for this, even though it's really, really quick. She needs some milk. <laughs> you need some milk. Okay, so I'm using, can y'all see, Chobani. So I started using oat milk because I catered a vegan brunch and um, a couple people were allergic to tree nuts. So instead of using almond milk, I use oat. And the shit is fire, it's still really good. Um, it really doesn't make a huge difference. I find that oat milk holds flavor really good and it's thicker. So if y'all are looking for a milk substitute that's not so like watered down, oat milk is the way to go. It's like oat milk is like the vegan version of whole milk and almond milk is the vegan version of 2%. That's how I classify. I like that. Thank you for that. Yeah, feel me? Okay, you see how it's like almost like an Alfredo saucy? Goodness. So I added about a cup. Like I said, I don't measure. I'm just like, I eyeball it, but it's about a cup. You don't have to use a whisk either. Um, my family broke my whisk and I was lazy as hell and did not get one for so long. Um, but I was fancy today, so I went and bought a new one just for y'all. Amen. Mm -hmm. So now you want to add the cheese once you get the saucy consistency. Um, vegan brands are like Daya. Um, to be honest, Daya is not my favorite. Um, but with the shit going down in the grocery stores, you just got to get what you get. Um, so I like Field Roast. Um, they have good, good cheese that's like really creamy. So, yeah. Um, you want to add the cheese and turn up the heat now to like a medium because we've been on low that whole time. Just keep mixing it together and you're going to slowly add the next cup of milk. Stir. Is anybody vegan? No? <laughs> I'm not vegan, but I love like vegan food. There's a couple of vegan spots in the area that I'm always going to all about. I'm, for sure, I'm, not, for sure. I'm not vegan, but I eat food, so. <laughs> food is good. Food is great. A lot of people think also that, that vegan food is like old, like way, way, way healthy. Like this dish is definitely not, I would say, a quote, quote, healthy dish. Um, <laughs> it's, it's still like a comfort kind of soul food, just like dairy filled mac and cheese so it's not it's not something you want to like oh i'm gonna have this every fucking day <laughs> so you're making like the cheese to the mac and cheese yes one. so what wow. we're what i'm doing is the cheese sauce so how mm. how i make mac and cheese is the is like the baked mac and cheese so what happens is i make the noodles which i already did over here mm -hmm. and then we make the cheese sauce to pour on top of the noodles and then you can actually you can actually just pour this right over cooked noodles you don't even need uh to bake it mm -hmm. um just some people like that like that kind of firm like baked mac and cheese um i've even baked it and then the next day i breaded it up and fried it so I had, we had like fried mac and cheese balls. The shit was great. Pops. Um, so what's that you're pouring? So that's more cheese. Um, ah. So the first, the first one I used was, was cheddar. Mm. And then I like to use mozzarella also. Um, but that's just like, cause again, Daya is not my first choice when it comes to vegan cheese brands. But when I do get Daya, it's definitely mozzarella and cheddar oh well that now delicious you see you feel me that's saucy so so here's the thing with vegan cheese and this is why it took me so long i'm so proud of my vegan mac and cheese because it vegan cheese does not taste like dairy cheese it, uh -huh. it really doesn't like dairy cheese is 
basically like you know it's like spoiled milk like there's a sour a sourness to cheese you feel me like a tang to cheddar you know <laughs> and um vegan cheese is more on like the american cheese side it's like it's like borderline sweet it's kind of weird um it's kind of, you got to get used to it you got to get used to it so when i became vegan mac and cheese is like my joy so i was like i have to figure this shit out by thanksgiving um <laughs> so i ended up trying a bunch of things but y'all are lucky enough to get my secret because i definitely have not told people before this um i found out how to get the tang by making it through a sauce um so, Which well, is that, bomb. Was, that was hella bomb, Lex. We're going to come and check back in with you guys in a bit. Um, uh, we'll check in with you at the end of the night to see how this amazingness turns out. Everybody, everybody's up in the comments. <laughs> mm -hmm. 